Yo, he was outside my door. Where's my corpse? Where's my corpse? Where's my corpse? Oh no! Equip the belt! Equip the belt! Equip the belt! Oh, gods! Are you all out of your mind? This is super bad. Where's my cave? Where's my cave? Where's my cave? Oh, a stone giant! They're playing for keeps! Where's my cave? There it is! <laughs> God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh. Okay, put our clo- Dude, I looted everything and I was encumbered. And I had to put on- I was like, oh my god, put on the belt! In the middle of all that. Ah, okay. We are going to use the, um, the power. Now that we know what we're dealing with, we're going to use the bone mass power, and we're going to get to it. Bone mass gives you... Well, actually, I don't know if it helps versus ice. I don't think bone mass helps versus frost. So I'm going to use it, but I don't honestly know if it's going to help or not. Oh, uh, blunt slash pierce. So it depends on how the attacks are labeled. Oh god, he's right there. How did you hit me? Oh no. I need a rock or something. Oh, there's a freaking... Will it fight the giant? Why does the medium healing need has a, have a big X on it? What does that mean? Like, I've got two me- can you have two meads running? Is it complaining because I got two meads? Busy. Can I make the, the the little drakes will fight the stone guy? Will the boss fight the stone guy? I wish I could see the damage numbers off of him to, t to try out the other arrows. Like, I'm sure the fire is pro possibly the best, because it's a freaking ice dragon, but I would love to test the other arrows just to see the, the numbers. But he's so far, I can't. Two minutes on the bone mass power.
I took like two damage from falling. Hitbox is massive because of those wings sticking up. Oh man, I thought the giant was behind me. It was the crystals. Ooh, that's new. Glad we were on a slope. All right, he's got a conal. can't hit him. I don't want to get closer to him. Bone mass is about to wear off. We've been fighting for five minutes. Letting stamina refill in case I have to dodge. Like that. Oh my god, stop landing back there. Wait, what arrows are we? Oh, we're out of fire arrows. Alright, switch to poison. Poison, I don't know if it's as good as fire, but it's certainly doing damage. Like, I'm not complaining about having to use it, that's for sure. I wonder if the poison damage from my bow stacks with the ticking poison damage from the arrow. So this guy is re like, his AI, he's really stupid. It's just that if he hits me, I die in like one blow, maybe two. But, like, his every attack is a wombo combo. But he's really dumb. Alright, I'm gonna let my stamina charge. Can you use both fire and poison? Well, not now, because I used all my fire up. They're out. If I wanted to be really efficient, I would let the poison run out before I fired a new one, but I haven't. Double dodge roll right through it. Oh god, oh god, where is he? Okay, there he is. The second dodge roll wasn't needed, but I was paranoid. Uh, my queen's jam food is about to wear off. Uh, eat this. Let me just eat this chicken leg while this boss is looking at me. Oh, my bow needs to be repaired. I gotta get back to my base. Stone giants down there. Okay. 
So the fear is when I come back out of the portal, uh, that guy, last time I came out of the portal, he just barraged me. I am really glad I made that portal underground, you guys. I am really glad I made that portal underground. It saved my life at least once. All right. Um, what was the recipe for poison arrows? Is it the table? But also make needle arrows. I mean, there's a lot of different things I could do here. Uh, oh, I don't have a lot of ooze. All right, let's let's we'll do fire. Uh, wood resin feathers. I don't have a lot of ooze. What's a scampi? It's, a <laughs> it's an inside joke on the channel, but it's a type of shrimp. There's a meme and it says something like, um... Me, uh, you know, I'm always complaining about my, uh, how I'm sore, and it goes, my posture on the computer, and it just shows a shrimp curled up in a chair. And there's, uh, another streamer named Loranity who calls shrimp scampies, and one thing led to another, and we ended up with a recording of her saying you're sitting like a scampy, as kind of, a, an inside joke. All right, I'm going to use up the... Well, no, I'll just... I'll put these poison arrows away for rainy day. We're just going to use the fire. And we've got the the wood. Uh, we'll bring the iron head as backup. Okay. All right. Test out the ooze bomb. Uh, I don't want to do testing in a boss fight like this. I don't want to do testing in a fight like this. Dude, the giant, no! The friggin' stone guy, no! Oh my gosh, he like knocked the boulders down the hill after me. Dude, th this stone guy. Oh my god. Yes, go fight the Drake. I'm in breath range, and I don't like it. Gotta say, whatever is on the end of these arrows to engulf him like that, I don't know if that's just napalm, like that's insane. The amount of fire we see when one makes, when one connects. Yeah, 
Gotta eat more carrot soup. At least he didn't heal too much while you run. Yeah, he definitely healed some, but it wasn't a major amount. Same thing happened when I died to the bone mass and had to run back. Oh. That was close. Right up Main Street. stuck again. Is every time he lands, he's the dumbest creature I've seen in this entire game. Tree one motor zero? for that stone giant. He's got the fear in me. Can I get headshots? I mean, I'm hit- oh. He decided he's had enough of that. Alright. Oh my god, that killed- that destroyed the boulder. Dude, those icicles took a chunk out of the mountain. No, not now, Drake. Motor, tell your son to leave this to me and you. This is not a family matter. Although I did kill a lot of those things, if you care. And I did sacrifice three of your eggs to something. Okay, maybe it's a little bit of a family matter. Oh, I took some damage, took some damage. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm chilled. Oh, come on, use the... Motor in tears. Yeah, he's sad because of his AI. Oh my god. Artisan Table Dragon Tier Motor Trophy. One of them rolled down the hill. Did I pick all of them up? That, okay. Deal, running from that golem did not help matters. Oh my god. Running from that golem did not help matters. Yeah, when he blasted at me in the cave, look at that. That A chunk of the mountain took the brunt of it. The wall I had up there is gone. And my little my little camp was safe. I'm glad we did the, the, the little hole in a rock thing. Uh, definitely recommend you guys do that if you fight this guy, if you need a staging area. That, that made getting back there a lot better. All right, so motor trophy. Oh, we gotta take that to the sacrificial stones. I don't have a portal up there because it's so rare I have to go back there. We gotta take that back. Uh, artisan table. What is that? Made with ten wood and two dragon's tears. Blast furnace, windmill. There was something else I couldn't see it in time. There's Blast Furnace. Uh, is that just a better smelter? Ten iron. I gotta go get iron again. No. Spinning wheel. It's like tailoring? Fine wood, iron nails, leather scraps. That's more iron. Windmill, that's more iron. Alright, chat. I'm gonna have to mine some iron next time, I guess. 
okay. Whew, okay. Let's equip the cheapo arrows again. And tell you tell you guys what, what we'll do before we wrap this up is we are gonna go turn in this trophy and see what power we get. That'll be the last thing for the evening. It's gonna be a, a jog, maybe like two minutes long, and we'll get back to the sacrificial stones. Uh, someone else tried to do the cave trick and motor blew it and their camp to pieces. Really? Maybe uh, mine was just deeper underground. But I also, I mean, I can't say what they did, but it, <clears throat> whenever I would respawn, I would try to get the fight away from the cave to protect it, and that seemed to work okay for me. Or, if all else fails, you can have your respawn point be much further away. So that motor can't aggro it. You did have a thick rock top. <laughs> My cave was thick. So I'm guessing the last boss is going to be in the plains. But I thought the plains was the only thing left, and then I found the mistlands. So I don't know what to think about the mistlands. Oh! Oh, 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 I bet the blast furnace is used for the... It was like the, the, the strange black iron, the dark iron, whatever it was called, that the goblins would drop. I bet it's for that. I don't know. Don't, and don't tell me, guys. I'm thinking out loud. I don't know what the windmill's for or the thing that looked like a tailoring station. I, I don't know about those yet. If I can You have about 90% of them out to explore as well. I mean... You're crazy if you think I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, I do want to kill all five bosses, which is the current main goal of the game. But I, I, I don't, you're going to be opening up the entire map. I am enjoying... This is the longest I've ever spent in a survival RPG. Um, so I... Let's see. I, if, if all of these count... You know, I've played some Minecraft, Terraria, and Subnautica. Really enjoyed Subnautica. Uh, this is the most time I've spent in a survival RPG. Gotta at least do the furthest four points from each other. Uh, you're very mistaken. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, you guys are gonna see my embarrassment of my, my first home. Dude, it's like a chicken coop. When I was still trying to learn all the controls in the game, I've got the, my first house. Is, it's like a chicken coop. Map is used for one gig download. Yeah, it uses very simple textures, but they don't look bad when you kind of take it all in from a distance. Like, yeah, if you zoom way in on the Viking's face, it looks like crap, but if you just zoom out and take it all in, especially the world tree, it's gorgeous. They've, uh... They've made quite the little combination of things. Like, honestly, my troubles with Motor was that other giant getting in the way a lot. And then, you know, I got hit one time. And then the terrain, and then Drake's out again. They buffed him today. And, I, like, I, I feel like he's still too easy. But, like, I think when he lands on the ground, he just breaks. Like, his AI just absolutely breaks. Always tailwind when sailing. Oh, that's cool. 
I'm gonna turn that on for right now. To be fair, it doesn't matter how buffed he is if he can't pathron off skills. Right. Like, wh when I say he needs a buff, I mean, like, he. I guess I should say I, he needs to be fixed. Uh, long ages past, he wore a crown beneath the blood red sky. Now not as left of all he was, but his spirit cannot die. I see that skull and a crown. I my first thought, guys, don't tell me. My first thought is like it's a lich. I'm one. I wonder if it's a lich. And then I also think of like King. Uh, I don't have the mats for a portal, but I'm only gonna have to come back here one more time. Um, I also think of like the skeleton king Leoric from the Diablo series. Good job, Beta Motor. Thank you, German. That's the irony I was talking about before your voyage. Oh, that makes sense now. I do remember you saying that. I remember you saying that, and I started thinking you were talking about, like, me doing the voyage and not bringing the eggs. And that's when I got paranoid, and I was like, alright guys, just tell me, do I have to bring the eggs? Because I didn't want to do that whole boat ride, you know, there, back, and back again. Fifth boss is Steve. Fifth boss is I get too loud and my wife comes stomping downstairs. What are you doing? It's midnight! <laughs> Do I sell my dagger? Yeah. Dagger, you don't get slowed when you're running with the dagger. Don't run with knives, kids. This is not proper safety. Uh, so next time, I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need to get some iron and bring it home and like a lot of iron and then make all these new crafting stations and then once i've unlocked all that stuff start messing around in the planes probably i'm guessing get a bunch of the black metal stuff from the goblins use that to make new gear and then hunt down whatever the next boss is Uh, I know it's not finished, that has a lot of map for short plot, and it's different every time you play it. Uh, wait, what's the word? Procedurally generated? That's awesome. Oh, I accidentally got too deep in the water. Boo. That away. Nice to see Frosty in action, awesome weapon. I have been enjoying it. Uh, I kind of love this game, especially the atmosphere. Also, I went in Firelands and I got Sulfurous. Fire. Wait, what? Did they have like a reboot Sulfurous in Firelands? Sulfurous drops from. Well, Sulfurous is created from items that drop from Ragnaros in the Molten Core. Firelands was when they brought back Ragnaros as a, oh, he's back again. I, I guess, I, I don't even really remember his, draw, his loot table. I guess he dropped like another form of Sulfurous. It's called Sulfurous the Extinguished Hand. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. So it's like a, it's second incarnation or something. I think I wasn't an active player when Firelands came out. Uh, so I like, I did some of it like after the fact solo. Yeah, I went back, um, you know, way after the fact, and I soloed old rag until I got the, uh, you know, it was like 50 weeks in a row, until I got the uh, Eye of Ragnaros to make uh, the Sulfurus, just for collecting. Uh, from what I've heard, they're supposedly planning to add a couple more bosses, that's the extra room around the Offering Stones. Gotcha. I very, very much hope... And I, I, I imagine it would be this way. I can't imagine it wouldn't. I very much hope that when they add more stuff, that you don't have to start a new game. Like, you can just update your existing map, and the stuff will spawn in your existing world. Uh, I, I really hope that you won't have to restart. Because, I gotta be honest, I am very much enjoying this. If they said we added a sixth boss, but you have to start, you know, restart the game to get to it, I don't know if I would. 
I don't know if I, I would. There is a dark spawn in my camp. Uh, even if you had to do it, it would go away the fast to see what you're doing. True, but I just, I don't know if I would. All right. So we got this table. I have no idea what it does. I'm guessing what it does will become apparent once I've made the spinning wheel, the windmill, and the blast furnace. So a lot of the stuff for the blast furnace, I can just tear apart the smelter and make it. So I'm going to assume that it can do everything the smelter can, but also more. I have no idea what the windmill and the spinning wheel are going to do, but I, we will find out. But the the problem is it all needs iron, and I got like none. Uh, I've got four pieces. So I'm going to, next time. We've got this cool power where we always have tailwind. So next time, what I could do. Uh, oh god, do I still have a portal over here? I don't think I do, I think I got rid of it. Wait, risk base. Hold on, let me go through the risk, wait, where did I... I was in the process of making a portal room and it's unfinished. Is it already here? Snow, risk, okay, hold on. Let me see, if this is still in that swamp, I could take all the mats for my longboat, build it here, mine iron, and then tailwind my way home. Yes, awesome. So there's a, there's a sunken crypt there I never finished mining out. I never started. Um, okay. So I think that's going to be the thing. Build a longboat here. Uh, mine iron. Tailwind my way home. And build all that stuff. I think that's the next thing. Unless you need both the smelter and the blast furnace. True, which I would find out really quickly. And making, making another smelter is not a big deal. Uh, making a smelter is, I think, just rock and uh, cores, which cores are... There's tons of cores uh, around the area I'm at. Okay. Oh, you know what we can do? Hold on. Check. It's done. It's done. Motor's done. Oh, baby. The, all of this. That was tonight. All right, chat. That was awesome. We got it done. Four bosses down. The last, I believe, the last tier of technology unlocked. And we have got a goal for next time. So, uh, let's see. Muck, since the game saves your character separately like Terraria, even if they ask you to restart your map, you can move your character over to a new map where we sort of start again. Man, I, I can imagine, like, taking your character back and forth trying to shuttle everything, but still, you, losing your whole base would be daunting. I've, I've spent so much time on this. Uh, anyway, anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Thank you all for joining me.